Okay, forgive the mistakes, that was cold, frosty morning. Um, if you, we go back to the first segment where we discussed a Dorian, we had, um, remember I said the A minor was going to be on space, notes that had on the spaces of the staff. And then the G would bend. So the tune's built around that a lot. The Dorian scale that we're going to use is, there's the Dorian note. Okay, so Dorian scale will always, you'll have to cross the bridge. Okay, whereas the yellow line will be straight up and down. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll take this in some parts here. The only bass note we're going to use is bass A here. Everything else will be on the uh, treble bridge. There's the first couple notes. So you have a, an accent on the E and then an accent back on A. Next phrase. Kind of stutter your way up the scale there. down for that A. So that's all part of the A minor. Now we have the G. Let me do the G chord again. We'll put the two together. A minor. G. All right, again. Right. And then that third phrase is just like the first. Except we don't do the da 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 da, we go. Instead of this, we do this. Add a little difference in there. All right, so the, here's the three phrases together. G. close out and the end. And that close out and end is once more. All right, here's the whole A part, nice and slow.
The B part. All right, we have syncopation here. Now, that's going to involve, this is a right hand lead tune. So everything you saw, the whole eight parts on a one bass note and just on the right side of the treble bridge. Real easy. In fact, what makes this easy is unlike some tunes in A Dorian and G major, we don't use this E sometimes and this E sometimes or the E here and the D here. This, we just use E here, D here all the time, nice and simple to remember. Okay, and you can hear that melody go from A to G and back to A minor. All right, we're gonna open up the B part with some syncopation. That's gonna involve a double left on the left side of the bridge. Okay. And that'll, that's rhythmically correct for syncopation, but it also, again, keeps your right hammer on the beat. Okay. So make sure you're doing this. And then a couple notes. And again. And once more, make sure you're doing that double left on that high A. So the uh, E, E, A, 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 G, A, B, A, G, E, D. And right, next phrase. Okay. So we have, uh, let me go to where I'm at. So we have that F sharp. So we ascend through the F sharp and we're gonna descend with that F sharp and then we're done with the F sharp, okay? Uh, F ray. Now we'll put the two together. more. Now we have the close out in the end, that ascension. Now that second C will be the left hand. Play the right should be hitting that final A. And again, uh, all right, here's the whole B part nice and slow. Okay, double left foot on that high A. Do the whole tune. If you're anything like me in workshops, okay, let's do the A part. Everybody remember the A part. Uh, no. Oh, so let's go. So the A part chord. Okay, there's a little reminder there. 
Okay, so we'll play it for real, nice and slow. Right. Whole turn again. Cold, frosty morning. 